our first lesson. In the beginning, there was nothing, but God was there. Let's read about how he created everything with his voice and his breath. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth didn't have any shape, and it was empty. There was darkness over the surface of the waves. At that time, the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day. He called the darkness night. It was day one. God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. Let it separate water from water. God called the huge space sky. It was day two. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let dry ground appear. And God saw that it was good. God said, let the land produce every kind of living creature. Let there be livestock and creatures that move along the ground and wild animals. God made every kind of animal and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings so that they are like us. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He formed a man, made him out of the dust of the ground. God breathed the breath of life into him, and the man became a living person. God put the man in the Garden of Eden. He put them there to farm its land and take care of it. God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. God caused him to fall into a deep sleep, and he took out one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman. He made her from the rib he had taken out of the man, and God brought her to the man. God blessed them. He said to them, have children so that there will be many of you. God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. It was day six. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on that day, he rested from all of his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy.